Well, howdy folks. Today we are going to get cow skulls, painting cow skulls. Uh, like all fine art, the bottom line is you have to prepare the surface. So there's a couple of things we got to get squared away and uh, get ready to go and before we can actually start painting these high quality <laughs> uh, pieces of fine art. First of all, you got got to go out and find yourself a cow skull. For you city folks, uh, you can probably borrow one from the cow if you ask nicely. The rest of you, you just have to go out and find one or find yourself a rancher or somebody like that that uh, has got lots of uh, places where they have dead cows. Pick yourself out a nice skull right here. And the first thing you got to do is take it and clean it up good. Get all the junk off of it. Probably been laying around on the ground for who knows how many years. So one surface is probably going to be pretty good. Other surfaces, probably not so good. And this one right here actually looks pretty good all the way around. You can see uh, it's pretty clean, free from debris and stuff. Got to get all the old crap off of there so the, the paint sticks. All right. After you get that done... Um, the next thing you're going to do is get yourself some Gorilla Glue or other waterproof sticky, uh, any waterproof sticky glue will do and do reasonably well. And I'll show you why we need to do that. For example, take this skull right here. It still has these two pieces uh, of the skull that are intact, you'll notice that they're missing on this one. All of this stuff right in here is uh, loose and uh, probably just as easy to take that out and throw it away because it's not going to do you any good. But if you got uh, one that these pieces are still here, they're very fragile and you need to glue them into place. One straight down the center right here and to both sides. Now I like the Gorilla Glue right here because it forms uh, a very hard shell sticky and it binds them together you can see right here on the sides where it comes across um, so that part right there is already done this one right here you'll see the next part we have to to deal with right here all the teeth are all super loose right in there so you take your glue and you're just going to put a bead of glue right around this thing right here. Let it soak in. Don't care whether it gets all over everything. I mean, this isn't going to go into the Metropolitan Museum of Fine Art. Get a little bit between the teeth right here so that they'll hold. And make sure you get it down in those cracks right there. Any of the excess glue, you're going to come back with a chisel and cut off anyway. So let's get it down there into that crack like that. Because cow skull with teeth is much more attractive than a cow skull without teeth. That goes without saying, man. Like a banjo quartet. Each one of them's got exactly four teeth, and you need all four of them to make the, make the thing work. So we just go along here, make sure you get it up to that side right there. Get that front tooth right in there. You just want to make sure these teeth are going to stay put and the rest of the, the skull as well. So don't skimp on the glue, just let it run in there. And don't worry about it across the rest of your skull because You'll come back with a little chisel and clean that off anyway. Now this one, you can see we only have one tooth over here. Doesn't look nearly as good as that other one. But, beggars can't be choosers when it comes to cow skulls and how many teeth they got. Then we just let it set up and dry before we take the next step. Okay, 
you can see at this particular point we've got the glue these things are in here nice and solid the teeth are all in here nice and solid everything looks pretty good it's pretty solid crossway there's no loose teeth or anything like that we're ready to start uh, the painting process right here this one we've already got it masked off masking tape right along here we're painting this part black on this one we'll mask it exactly the same but instead of black up here we'll put the black so this one will be an inverse image of this one right here we'll see how they look and turn out you can see if you really wanted to you could sand that glue down or you could cut it off with a chisel there's just no point to it you know what i mean so this is kind of how that we're laying things out we'll go ahead and get this one mask off this part painted black and then we'll either do a yellow or a red okay so here we go we've got that one taped and the black side painted and this is the inverse part on the other one right there now we're going to retape and paint the inverse side except for these things right here those are kind of cool we'll paint them white with maybe a little drop of red at the end see how that looks out so far so good okay so we've got the black on we've got the yellow on this particular one we've uh, got a little red in the eye sockets the ear sockets and up the snoot right here making a nice little contrast all the way around the next part we're going to do is well you can see right here we i goobered a little uh, yellow paint right there we'll have to do some touch up i uh, have to do some touch up on the black right here on the sides that kind of thing this one's coming along really nicely as well right here you can see got the red in there i opted for a yellow inside right here and then around the side got the teeth um, and these little points right here we'll uh, put a little bit of white satin on there and see what it looks like okay I'm going to take a little white brighten these things up substantially and then we'll have a little fun. All right, that's looking pretty good. take a paintbrush we're gonna make dots start right here Hot dang, things starting to come together. Looks like we better back these up here just a little bit. We'll put a little red on the end of that. Now then, as long as we're thinking around right here, we might just well a couple of dots going down this way.
Well. All right, things are starting to come come together fairly well now. Got to let the yellow dry right here, but we'll put some dots on that uh, black spot that's already uh, done. Just wait, watch and paint dry at this point. Okay, I'm going to take a little white. Brighten these things up substantially. And then we'll have a little fun. Alright. That's looking pretty good. take a pink brush we're gonna make dots start right here Hot thing. Things starting to come together. Looks like we better back these up here just a little bit. We'll put a little red on the end of that. Now then, as long as we're thinking around right here, we might just well. Put a couple of dots going down this way. Things are starting to come come together fairly well now. Got to let the yellow dry right here, but we'll put some dots on that uh, black spot that's already uh, done. Just white, watch and paint dry at this point. Okay, we're getting close on the skulls right here. You can see we got some little dots painted on there to make them look cool. Little highlights here and there, that kind of thing. Red eye socket, red nose. That's looking pretty good. This is the other one right here. You can see where we got the, the white with a little bit of red on the end. Highlighted a little red. We've got uh, orange teeth. So, I think I'm happy with the way they turned out. Now's the time to take them and up to the cabin, put them with all the rest, see how they work out. Should be a good fit, I'm hoping. Looks good. <laughs> 